Hello, I'm Arclight of Red Wolf Airsoft, and in this video I'll be taking a closer look at the Biohazard 15th Anniversary Barry Burton model. Like all of the Tokyo Marine Biohazard Special Anniversary guns, it is essentially a costume dressed established weapon. It has the tried and trusted Tokyo Marie technology on the inside of an existing model, and on the outside it has aesthetic changes to make it look more like the gun used in the computer game. So, we address the costuming on the outside first. Right off the bat, it has the distinctive Tokimuri type Stars Raccoon City Police logo on both sides, which is a nice little touch. And the slide is covered in Stars, RPD, Specialty, Custom Kendo Shop and all that jazz. The magazine, though essentially the same as the basic model, it has this extra bit on the bottom to make it look like the extended magazine used in the game. And it has this extended rail and cop added to the front, which adds a good inch on top of the weapon to let it a bit more intimidating. Under the covers, it's a tried and tested Tokyo Marui M9, hence the inclusion of the direct M92F instruction manual in this box. So, functioning like a Marui M9, that puts the mag release on the left side in the classic position. It uses M9 26 round Marui types again. The slide racks with every single shot as a gas blowback weapon, and it does have a slide lock. The slide release is also on the left side, positioned just like a normal Marui M9. And the safety, right here at the back of the slide, is actually ambidextrous, present on both sides of the weapon. As a Marui M9, that means it has a double action trigger. Now, what that means is that after firing the weapon, the hammer will cock and stay to the rear, just like your classic 1911. Just like single action weapons, pulling the trigger is a nice, short, crisp action for immediate firing. However, as a double action weapon, even with the hammer down, the trigger pull will pull the hammer back first and then disengage it. A longer but safer trigger pull. So for those of you who like to carry safe, what that means is you can load your weapon and even put a round in the chamber, but then bring the hammer down, put the magazine back in. It's in an inert state, but it is technically loaded with a BB in the chamber. You can engage the safety or not as you wish, but that means from here on in it's fairly safe, but now the only thing you need to do to fire it is to pull it out of your holster and pull the double action trigger. Now this model does have a rail on the bottom of the frame here. Now, you probably do want to stick to the Tokyo Marui rail accessories though, because the rail here, typical Tokyo Marui, is of course plastic because of Japanese law. So I wouldn't put anything serious or non-Marui on here, because anything too heavy or made of metal will just rip this apart. As a Marui gun, it shoots perfectly fine and reasonable, and it's a perfectly pretty and reliable gun, as is. But in the future, should you wish to butcher this gun, though I don't recommend you do, but if you want to, it does use a normal Tokyo Marui slide and barrel and frame and all of that good stuff. So, if you don't mind giving up the star symbol just on the slide, you can replace two metal parts for longevity and probably fudge around with the inside if you want to increase the power as well, though that's not for the faint of heart. The 26 round magazine, exactly the same capacity as a standard Marie M9 magazine, but it is slightly different because of this completely different base going on here, but it performs the same. The magazine is a Marie metal magazine, but as a Marie gun, it's almost entirely plastic on the outside, which means despite its weight, most of the weight of this gun is in the magazine, which puts the center of weight about here, which means despite its length, holding it out is actually very comfortable with no forward lean at all. And like all Tokyo Marine Biohazard 15th Anniversary costume pistols, it comes with this nifty little metal Stars Raccoon City Police pin. And I really should mention that like all biohazard weapons, the original series were made out in the 90s and then they went out of production. They were popular for a while. They became collector's pieces, but only recently Marie started making them again because of the 15th anniversary. As an anniversary item, you can't count on Marie making a lot of these or for very long. So the collectors out there will be snapping these up quite quickly. So if you do want one, you do have a little bit of time, but be sure to get one while they're still available because once they disappear from stock again, who knows how many decades will pass or if we'll ever see them again ever. The Tokyo Marui Biohazard 15th Anniversary Samurai Edge Barry Burton model. This and many other Biohazard 15th Anniversary weapons available from our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com And do subscribe to our channel today so you can stay up to date on our latest videos and newest products.